All right, gang. Your saltwater guy, Captain Dave Hansen. Hey, we're talking about that bluefin that's biting right now. Bluefin are biting all over the place, outside of San Clemente Island, all the way into the beach. We're gonna go over the techniques. This is what I believe you should have together when you go out on your boat. You gotta have what they're eating. You gotta have a few options. You gotta be ready. So we're gonna look around at these lures right here that we're talking about now. Fish Labs makes a phenomenal amount of different types of lures and pretty much gonna cover everything you wanna do when you're out fishing. We're gonna go over the popper. We're gonna go over the stick bait. We're gonna go over the pencil flanker. We're gonna go over the big stick bait, the smaller stick bait, the scrum popper. We're gonna talk about this eel. I believe the mad eel is a great bait to have. We're also going to talk about the flat falls. We're going to go over each and every one of these lures. Then we're also going to talk about hook selection and fish and live bait because all of these things, all of these things are going to play into your fishing adventure. When you go out, you want to be ready because you're going to be out there on your boat or you're going to be out there on a sport boat. You're not going to have access to a tackle shop. So you're going to want to have what you need. So I would suggest if you don't want the fish lab poppers, I would suggest getting somebody's poppers, getting some stick baits, getting some pencil baits, getting some swim baits, getting some flat falls, and getting some hooks. So we're going to go over the hooks real quick. We're going to show you something. Look at these hooks. We got an 8 aught, and then we got a couple of 6 aughts, and then we got a 4 aught. Each one of these is a circle hook. I know if you've been to my seminars before, we talk about all the time, I like to use J hooks, but not when I'm fishing this big bluefin. I like the circle hook because if you've seen this bluefin gang, come look at the circle hooks. The, the bluefin have teeth and they have a lot of teeth, not like a yellow fin. So they're gonna have a tendency to saw through your leader. So that's why you want a circle hook so you can hook them in the corner of your mouth. Now look. We're going to say we got mackerel for bait, especially if you're going on your private boat. So you're going to want a nice 8 aught thick wire, not thin. I mean, this is totally different than what we talked about other types of fishing. Because of these big bluefin, and we're going to be using 80 pound floral carbon, fly line, and a mackerel, we're going to use these 8 aught thick wire mustad circle hooks, okay? When I say fly lining, that means you're going to take your line. Come right over here, get here close. We're coming off the Protec rod. We're gonna take our floral carbon. See how it's all twisted? Cause it came off the spool. All of yours is gonna look like that. You just take your finger, rub it down, get it a little warmed up. It'll straighten that line right out. Then you get it warmed up a little bit, get that kink out of it. Then we're gonna, you loop it around your index finger and then feed it down towards the hook. Go around seven times. Six, seven, through the bottom hole. And back out through the top hole, which we made with our index finger. Get it wet a little bit, slide it right down on itself. There's your San Diego jam knot, okay? Now, if you look at this, this is what I'm talking about fly lining, guys. Put that off right there so it's nice and clean. It's going right straight to the main line. No weights, no swivels, nothing. You're going to hook your mackerel on this and you're going to throw it right into the foamer. But if you look, we don't have any swivels, we don't have any beads, we don't have anything, but hook tied right to the end of the piece of floral carpet. And I'm only using a little piece, this long. What is that, three feet, four feet of floral carbon, that's it. Not some big, long, giant piece where the knot's gonna get stuck in the tip of the rod. I'm bringing the knot right up to the tip, and then I'm casting my mackerel on this. This is how you fly line, fishing for that big tuna. You wanna fly line your bait, no weight at all, fishing a circle hook for those things, all right? So that's our, fly line the mackerel 
Now, flat fall. If you guys watched our video the other day, we talked about this flat fall. Well, here we are again. I love this color because this emanates the color of the red crabs. This imitates the color of the red crabs. This is what I like to use this color. But you know what? A lot of lures are colored for fishermen. They catch fishermen. And I, I've been diving my whole life. I've never seen anything glowing in the dark. Everyone says glow in the dark works the best. You know why? Because that's what they're using. But I like to use natural colors. That's me. I'm only out fishing every single day. But you know what? If everybody on the boat was getting bit on glow in the dark, I would go to glow in the dark. But I'm going to stick with my reds or my silvers and blues during the day and reds at night because that's what I think they're going to eat. Then I'm going to take this thing once again. We're going to tie a San Diego jam knot, get in here nice and close. We're going to hold that lure. We're going to make a loop at the top with our index finger, wrap it around seven times. Put the line through the bottom hole, get in there close. Go through the bottom hole. Then right back out the, through the hole you made on the top with your, with your index finger. Pull that baby down tight. There's your San Diego jam knot, gang. San Diego jam, ready to go. Okay, then I just drop that over the side. That's how I flat fall for blue fitted. Go back to my flat fall video on here and it'll show you how to flat fall fish for bluefin tuna. But this is one of the many, many rigs. Now, I'll leave this thing rigged up already. Cause, okay, I'm gonna have three rods. So I'm gonna have this one in the rod rack waiting for when the captain says, hey, I'm marking them down deep. So I'm gonna put this one in the rod rack, ready to go with my flat fall on it for when he's marking fish down deep. Now, I have my other rod ready, casting rod, and I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna go, okay, I'm gonna talk to the deckhands on the boat or I'm gonna go to a website and get some general information, maybe your saltwater guide or fish dope or something, I'm gonna go there and get some information and they're gonna say, hey, the fish are mostly on foamers. I'm gonna go, oh, bitching. So I'm gonna use a popper. This is a popper, this is a Fish Labs scrum popper. But the nice thing about it is the color on this thing, the belly on the bottom, it's gonna imitate a fish. It's gonna look just like the fish that they're feeding on. The sardines or the anchovies out there, this thing's gonna look bitching in the water. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna do a San Diego jam knot. Go down seven times. Put that line through the bottom hole. Got to spit on it sometimes to get it in the hole. And then back out through the top. Pull that baby nice and even. Down on itself. San Diego jam knot. I'm not putting any swivels or anything on there. I'm tying it straight to the line. And if you look, follow it up. Another short piece of floral carbon going right up. So it don't have, that way it doesn't have to go through your guides. And this is what I'm going to fish with if we find some foamers. So I got two rods rigged up. One with the popper, one with the flat fall. I'm gonna be ready to change my hooks out if we start fishing live bait. I'm gonna change out my hooks. But this popper is really gonna work good here if I show you guys how to fish this thing. We're gonna look out here where I'm showing it.